Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing three dimension geometry, and this is lecture number two. I hope you have already watched part one before watching this part two. Before break, uh, we had discussed this uh, lecture, and uh, in this lecture, we had uh, discussed about uh, the basic concept of three dimension geometry, Cartesian system, coordinate system, and octant all about whether they are positive or negative. So, on the basis of that, uh, we should solve some questions in this lecture. And uh, on the basis of that, we are going to solve some questions from the given exercise. And uh, this is an exercise 12.1. So, let us discuss questions from there only 12.1. So, in this exercise, uh, the first question very first question was there and the question is given a point on x-axis a point on x-axis what are the y and z coordinate what are the y and z coordinate the y and z coordinate coordinate of the point what are y and z coordinate of the points so clearly uh, solution uh, any point lie on x axis y and z coordinate are zero any point lies on x axis x axis has y and z coordinates are zero this is what we have discussed already coordinates are zero zero right next question so there is another question and the second question is point lie on yz plane second question is a point in xy plane in xz plane in the xz plane what can you say about the y coordinate what can you say about the y coordinate say about y coordinate y coordinate so we can say that solution is again any point in x y plane any point in x z plane has y coordinate 0 has y coordinate 0 is 0 right ok now question number third is there and name the octants of the following name the octants in which the following point octants in which the following points lie following points lie name the octants in which following points are lie so the first point is given here 1, 2, 3. All 3 are positive. Since all 3 are positive, so let they lie in first octant. Right now. Next point is 4, comma, minus 2, comma, 3. So x is positive, y is negative, and z is positive. So point lies where x positive, y negative, and z positive. So this must be here, try to understand. X is positive, X positive, Y negative and Z positive. So X O Y, try to understand this, say this. X Y negative, Y negative, and x positive z positive so this is fourth quadrant isn't it so this must be fourth quadrant right so x just you can memorize this and remember this that this is a fourth quadrant i hope you got it this is fourth quadrant the quadrant is x o y dash z right here this one is nothing else but x o y z now the next point is here 4 comma minus 2 comma minus 5 that 
in which quadrant lies. So this is x, y dash, o, y dash, z dash. So x positive and y and z are negative, negative. So in which quadrant it lies? That must be 8th quadrant. So this will be in 8, right? For sake of convenience, you can write here that uh, this is x, o, y, z. This is the first quadrant. Now x o y x dash o y z right now then x dash o y dash z then x o y dash z and these are the four quadrant first second third and fourth right and similarly for uh, in denominator all z will be negative so you can uh, understood that uh, this will be Fifth, six, seven, eight, eight, z dash would be negative. So here y dash z dash. Y dash is this x is positive and z dash. So opposite to four, there will be eight quadrant. Right? So in the next point is here you can memorize this. Uh, let me write this here just for sake of convenience. This is what I did here. Right? Just for sake of convenience, right? Now the next point age here and the coordinate of next point age minus four. This is minus four and four two minus one two three four two minus five. The next point age four two minus five four two minus five. Right now x is positive x is positive, y is also positive, but z is negative. So, opposite to that will be what? 5, fifth quadrant. So, that will be fifth quadrant because it will lie in x, o, y, z s. Now, the next point is here, the next is minus 4, 2, minus 4, 2, and minus 5. That is x is negative x dash x dash y is positive and z dash that is opposite to this right now so that will be sixth so this must lie in sixth quadrant this is x dash o y and z dash now the next point is given here that uh, this is minus 4 2 and 5 so it is nothing else but it is uh, x dash y and z x dash y and z x dash y and z this one this is lies in second quadrant right now so that must be in second quadrant similarly one more point is minus three minus one and six minus three minus one is six this is nothing else but x dash O, Y dash and Z, X dash O, Y dash Z, X dash Y dash and Z. That is third quadrant. So clearly it is third quadrant. I hope you got it. Okay. Now the next point is minus two, minus four and minus seven. That is nothing else but uh, X dash, Y dash and Z dash. All these are negative. So the, all these are negative in which quadrant that is seventh quadrant so it will be in seventh quadrant so all these points are described here and i hopefully you got it right now so you understood it all these points how and b and why they lie in which quad octant okay now the next question is question number four what they say fill in the blanks fill in the blanks blanks what is the field in the blanks that is first point is here describe like the x and y axis taken together determine the plane the x and y axis axis taken together taken together determine a plane 
<coughs> determine a plane is known as is known as answer is x y plane right now the second point is what the coordinate of points in the x y plane are of the form the coordinate the coordinates units of points in x y plane of points in x y plane are of the form r of the form x y plane so z coordinate 0 x comma y comma 0 x comma y comma 0 in the form x comma y comma 0 x comma y comma 0 x y plane now the next point is third what is this coordinate planes divide the space into coordinate planes divides a space divide the space the space in to into octants octants how many octants so that is eight octants right so these are all questions uh, which is uh, given in this exercise i hope you understood it right okay now let us discuss how to find the distance of the point from origin now let us discuss how to find the now let us discuss distance between two points distance between two points points in a space, a space. let p x1 y1 z1 and q x2 y2 and z2 are any two points in any two points in space two points in space right so to find distance between them we have let me draw the diagram first and then we will discuss it Now this is an x-axis say and this one is y-axis, x-axis and y-axis. Now points are like this, two points are here, you can like in there like this one, two points are here and I can go space plane for it let me draw this diagram okay diagram is being made and now try to understand the solution stage uh, um, q is just uh, in the vertex of above b and so co coordinate of q is what x2 y2 and z2 so it will be qb is a straight line pq pb is also a straight line and these two are perpendicular to each other <coughs> therefore this will be 90 degree now pq square is in triangle in triangle pbq pbq and angle pbq is 90 degree and therefore by using pythagoras theorem we can write pq is hypotenuse so pq square is equal to what pq square is equal to perpendicular square is equal to base square plus hypotenuse uh, perpendicular square and base square so pb square plus qb square qb square this is first equation now again uh, you can see that there is a right angle triangle here also uh, because uh, qa is perpendicular to ab qa since qa is perpendicular to ab and therefore 
since q a is perpendicular to a b and therefore q b is hypotenuse and therefore in right angle triangle right angle triangle q a b q a b q b square is equal to q b square is equal to q a square plus a b square right this is second now from first putting the value of qb square and therefore from first pq square is equal to pb square plus qb square is nothing else but qa square plus ab square this is equation 3 now what is pb pb is the distance of these two points putting the coordinate of q is the same coordinate of p so x coordinate is same so pb is nothing else here pb is x2 minus x1 pb is x2 minus x1 and what is this qa qa is along y axis so qa is y2 minus y1 right and ab ab is what ab is along z axis so therefore ab is equal to and ab is equal to z2 minus z1 putting the value of all these here we will get that pb is x2 minus x1 whole square right q a is y2 minus y1 whole square and ab is z2 minus z1 whole square that is pq square and therefore pq is equal to <coughs> pq is equal to under root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square. This is the distance between two points. This is the formula for, for distance between two points, between two points, two points p x1 y1 z1 and q x2 y2 z2 now a special case can be considered something like a, a special case if uh, p is if coordinate of p is if p is x y z and O is 0, 0, 0, right? And O is 0, 0, 0. Then distance between O and P, distance of point P, X, Y, Z from origin that is 0, 0, 0, O that is 0, 0, 0 is given by op is equal to given by op is equal to under root x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square plus z minus 0 whole square that is this employee op is equal to under root x square plus y square plus z square this is the distance of point from origin i hope you got it okay so distance of point from origin is given and now let us solve some questions related to this exercise 12.2 question find the distance between following pair of points find the distance between between following pair of points following pair of points pair of points right the first part is given here that 2 3 5 and 4 3 1 4 3 1 we know the distance between since distance between 
p x1 y1 z1 and q x2 y2 z2 is <coughs> under root p q is equal to what p q is equal to under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square right so this is what the distance between two points now here place of x1 y1 z1 this is 2 3 5 and uh, x2 y2 z2 is 4 3 1 and therefore distance between between 2 3 5 a point one say and b 4 3 1 is given by given by a b is equal to under root say 4 minus 2 whole square x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square minus z1 whole square and that will be 4 minus 2 2 whole square is 4 plus 0 plus 16 that is under root 20 so it will be 2 root 5 answer unit <coughs> doing the same thing in next question so therefore distance between points minus 3 7 2 and 2 4 1 these are two points 2 4 and 1 so the distance between therefore distance between between a minus 3 7 2 and b 2 4 1 8 a b is equal to again you can write it 2 minus minus 3 that is plus 3 whole square 4 minus 7 whole square plus 1 minus 2 whole square and that is equal to what this is 525 plus 4 minus 7 is minus 3 whole square is 9 and 1 minus 2 minus 1 whole square is 1 so 25 plus 10 35 that is under root 35 a square unit i hope you got it okay so that will be answer the unit unit right there is no problem now the next question is here that is question number third and the third question is given here let uh, the distance between so distance between minus 1 3 4 and 1 minus 3 4 is given by given by say this point is a and this point is b a b is equal to under root minus 1 minus minus 1 that is plus 1 whole square and minus 3 minus 3 whole square plus 4 minus 4 whole square that will be nothing else but uh, 2 whole square is 4 and this is uh, minus, minus 6 minus 6 whole square is 36 and this is 0 so you will get it like um, 40 under root 40 and under root 40 is 4 into 10 right so that will be 2 root 10 unit you can write it now the next question is question number four similarly distance between distance between so therefore distance between distance between when two minus one three and minus two one three is given by say this is a this point is b so a b is equal to under root minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 whole square 
plus 1 minus minus 1 that is plus 1 whole square plus 3 minus 3 whole square and that will be nothing else but minus 4 whole square is 16 and 1 plus 1 2 2 whole square is 4 plus 0 under root 20 that is 2 root 10 unit that will be the answer so hopefully you got it all these things how to deal with all these questions and uh, we will discuss some more questions in the next class till then bye bye keep watching god bless you